the Nexus IP is built on SNG's digital platform, we are installing the 3600 series lock body. We want to connect our white USB mini cable to our lock body. Insert the angled cable into the lock. Once connected, the cable will point towards the center of the locking case. Next, thread the cable along the channel and through the spindle hole of the lock. The 3006 lock bodies are not handed, so if needed, you can thread the cable through the opposite direction. This just depends on the design of the safe bolt work. The USB cable is through the lock body and we will install the lock on the inside of the door. The cable will pass through the spindle hole of the door. When threading the cable through the spindle hole, it is helpful to gently pull from the opposite side. This will help to seat the lock body into place. Once we have the lock body seated, use the three lock mounting screws to secure the lock to the door. Once the lock body is secured, you want to make sure that the safe bolt work engages the flat portion of the 3006 locking bolt. If the bolt work engages the round side, you have the lock mounted backwards. Last, if we have a relocker, attach the relocker plate to the lock body. The keypad base installation is quick and easy. The default configuration for the keypad has the Wi-Fi module located on the right. First, we will want to thread the ca cable through the keypad. There is a rectangular pathway in the keypad base which the cable will travel. Once the cable is through, slide the base until it meets the door. Use the two mounting screws to secure the keypad base to the safe door. Once complete, the keypad will have a tight fit and will not move. To route the cable, start by going down. Bend the cable up, tucking under the center tab to position the cable on the left side of the channel. Bend down, tucking the bend under the mini USB connection. The cable will go down and once you bend the cable to go back up, the cable plug should align with the mini USB connection. Once the connection is made, Adjust the cable to rest lower than the cable channel walls. When adjusting, try to avoid direct pressure to the cable connection. Asse excessive force could damage the connector. The keypad face will be installed onto the base. We never want to install batteries before installing the face. Installing batteries before the face could cause a short. Insert the green section of the face between the pins and the black tab on the base. The pins have a little give so the face should insert without too much effort. After you have inserted, snap the face down. Next, place the chrome ring onto the keypad. The s and logo will rest at the 6 o'clock position. Push to seat the ring into place. The Wi-Fi module houses the external power connection. Plug the black cable into the connection. Once connected, route the cable towards the hinge side of the door. Please ensure to take necessary steps to protect this connection. Batteries can be used to power the lock for a limited time. When power is applied to the lock, the screen will momentarily flash. Once the lock has power, test the lock with a valid code. The default code is 02020202 pound. When the lock accepts the code, you will see the lock open icon. You can turn the handle of the safe. Once done testing, turn the handle back to the lock position.